Coach Irwin. Quick Ohio cast preview here. You got a try meet on Thursday. We're two days out. Uh, you guys have a new program in Grand Valley. They're in your super region. They will be qualifying against the Helltoppers at the 2024 Super Region um, at West Lib. And then you have the defend or they're, they're, they're two time NCAA team champions in Notre Dame College, um, a program that's had some turnover. You guys will have a try meet. Um, I'm I'm heavily favoring you guys. I know you had a rough uh, national duels, but uh, how did your national duels go for for West Lib? Well, uh, just inconsistency. It wasn't uh, wasn't what we wanted, and uh, not one duel that we put probably ten guys out there that uh, all fought in relatively equal terms. And it went, uh, we came back uh, had to had to figure it out and. You know, I think we bounced back well, be you know, a very tough Ashland team. And then we took everybody that didn't wrestle at Ashland and wrestled at Mount Union, uh, you know, open you know, this past uh, Sunday. And just, man, had a lot of fun the way the guys competed. I like it. And I think it's going to transpire in us. Uh, we can do that again Thursday. Uh, national duels would, you know, end up being the best thing that's ever happened to us. You know, I think we went one and four in those duels. And ultimately it was, it was pretty ugly. <laughs> Wow, there's nowhere to hide at that national duels event, is there? There's not. Oh my gosh. Uh I think you know, Thursday's gonna be kinder to you. And I know that you're not a guy that's just all about winning. You want to learn, you want and, and this is big for seeding, right? Um I, what what would you say our best matchups are? Uh 285 are we gonna see uh, uh with Notre Dame College? Are, are you guys got a good matchup there? Yeah, we got a couple guys that have been to the national tournament before and they're familiar with one another. They've wrestled quite a bit and you know, they could they could end up hitting again in another week at the, you know, our conference championships. And um, so that's going to be a good one. You know, I know Notre Dame's got a good 149 pounder and I think Matt Kaufman and uh, their 65 pounders having a good year. And just, um, you know, they're they're always tough. They get they got scrappy dudes. And, you know, between that duel and you mentioned, you know, Grand Valley. I mean, that's uh, I don't know if Thursday is going to Thursday will be as kind as um, we decide it's going to be. We got there and fight our, our tails off and. I'm going to be pretty excited. We, we got there and hope that anybody's going to lay down for us. It could look a lot like national duels, but in Grand Valley, that's going to be a heck of a duel. They got some studs uh, up and down their lineup, and it's going to be some good action. A lot of good matches in that one, uh, probably with uh, 149 maybe being the, the marquee match if uh, both guys are out there with Donathan and uh, Taddy. So your 197s uh, hit in the semifinals at Finley. Will we see that matchup again? Um, Rutledge for Notre Dame College, and I forget who he was wrestling. At Our kids, the, Mason Christian. Well, so it'll be Mason Christian. They they hit and and actually Rutledge beat him in overtime on a on a push out, right? Yeah, you remember? Yeah. Oh, I, I remember. Yeah, uh, you know, don't don't forget things like that. And yeah, they've split this year, so they're one and one against each other. And yeah, we could see that matchup Thursday, and again a week from now at conference and. You know, maybe again at the regional tournament. So that's one right there. Is that one where it puts those guys in the two, three, one, two, three seeds? If they whoever wins that one, then has the seeding criteria for. And if they don't hit at the the conference, right? Did that that helps them for the the seeding for the region, right? Yeah, and you know we talked about that, and I, maybe that's the one that slipped my mind. I mean, one ninety seven's got probably eight guys that could finish in those top three spots you know so i think there's a couple of returning qualifiers that that might not even be in the top six of the regional rankings and um yeah so we'll make for an interesting weight class you know a lot of a lot of ground to cover between now and then that's crazy uh when you do a try like this um you're the late one right you're the late duel do you care how that's set up whether you go first second first third or is it like how do you do that how do you set that up Grand Valley's got to travel further, so you let them go one, two. How does that work, actually? Uh, we let Notre Dame decide, and you know, I think Grand Valley is traveling a little bit farther. And at the end of the day, I'm just excited to compete. You know, something that uh, to be able to go up there and get a couple, couple matches in. You know, something that uh, I think will will serve us well, rather than you know, maybe just having a, a single duel. And uh, you know, it'll uh, it'll determine some things and allow us, I think, to take some positive steps to prepare for you know, our conference championship, which is a week away. And yeah, that's, you know, that's going to be a barn burner uh, of a day, you know, when it comes to conference. What is your conference called? 
our Mountain East Conference. So it has uh, Notre Dame, us, Wheeling, uh, Glenville State, Davis and Elkins, uh, Frostburg State, um, Fairmont State, and I feel like I'm forgetting another one maybe. Um, cool thing, Salem University, which is in our conference, well, is in our conference or might end up being in our conference. I can't remember now. Uh, they're just they're starting Division Two wrestling in, in West Virginia too, so um, popping up everywhere. Frostburg's out of Maryland, aren't they? Yep, they got some dudes already. That's crazy. That blows my mind, man. Like the growth is NCAA Division Two wrestling the future of of college wrestling. It's it's growing. I I, I don't know what the numbers compared to Division One are, but I, they got to be pretty close. Where I would say probably ten years ago. Uh, division two was maybe one of the smaller ones to now, you know, being right up there and it's, there's no sign of it slowing down. I love it. You get me fired up when you talk about these things, man. Yeah. I like, I like the growth mindset. I like that you're adding women's wrestling. I like that you're on an active search for a coach right now or coaching staff. Right. And that I like that you're going to have your hands on it. I like your hands are going to be involved in who you're recruiting, who you're going to hire, how, you know what what the schedule is going to look like, budget, all that stuff. I like that that you are so involved with it, and, and you you understand the importance of creating a men and a women's equals, right? Well, and I think it's just with with women's wrestling that uh, you're doing it the right way. You you lay the foundation, and it will stand for forever. You you don't do some of those little things out of the gates, and uh, like any any sport or any program or company, it's on fragile ground and. Um, who wants to be on fragile ground? So I'm excited about the support that, uh, you know, we're putting together and what it's going to look like. And it's going to, it's going to be a lot of fun on that side. And, you know, we're getting ready, you know, it's been semi announced. We have a big event coming up actually on Friday that, uh, we're, we're naming our, our wrestling facilities after coach Bobby Douglas, you know, who was a national champion on the Hilltop and, you know, legendary coach, you know, Olympian, um, you know, it's, it's, it's long, uh, probably overdue for, somebody like coach Douglas to, to really uh, have, I would say that that stake planted on his legacy and, and uh, what he means to the sport of wrestling. Bobby Douglas does not get the credit he's due the pride of Bridgeport, Ohio. He coached the greatest American wrestler, college wrestler, at least in coach Kale Sanderson um, as an athlete at Iowa state university. Um, Bobby Douglas has done things. He's a trailblazer. Um, still the only head coach west of the Rockies to win an NCAA title in division one with Arizona state university. And then was bold enough to pick up and move to Ames, Iowa, where he coached some of the all time greats. And um, yeah, I, I think that um, I don't think we can state his greatness, right. In, in, in a, in a, in a show here, you could talk Bobby Douglas all day long. Um, first African-American Ohio state champ. I don't know if you know that. Yeah, just uh, the first of, of so much, right? Yeah, Olympian. Man. A trailblazer. Captain. A trailblazer, yeah. right? Like a guy that totally get it, an innovator and in, in promotion. And, and yeah, Bobby Douglas, he, he got it. And I'm glad to hear that you guys are doing that and you're going to name your facility after him. And I love to hear it. Okay. What do you got for me? Anything else? What 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 do you have to say to me that I'm not asking? Zeb, you're not asking the right questions. I wanted to talk about how ugly your face is, how bad your hat is, maybe wash it. I don't know. What else do you have for me? Is there anything on your mind that I'm not talking about? Maybe I'm not asking the right questions. Um, well, I mean, you, it's it could be the year. The Lions, you know, that's that's my team. They, they won the first playoff game. Here we go. Hold uh, on. Hold on. I am like the biggest. Hold on. So I got to tell you this. I was born and I was raised a, a, a Lions fan. Really? Yeah, well, dude, Oak Harbor is right yeah. through the water from Detroit. We're closer. We're way closer to Detroit than we are Cleveland, actually, which is wild because it's just right. It's 40 miles right through Lake Erie. So that I grew up in the media market. The media market I grew up in was actually the Detroit media market. So I grew up like a, a Lou Whitaker fan, Alan Trammell fan, fan Jack Morris fan. I... My first Major League Baseball game was the Tigers at Old Tiger Stadium. My first NFL game, I watched Barry Sanders play against the uh, the Farv the Farv Packers when they were when they were um, <laughs> Dynasty. The <laughs> um, so all my experiences, like 
my kids I'm now raising as Cleveland fans because we live in the Cleveland, you know, media market. So that is okay. So I think I was hoping for a Lions Browns Super Bowl. Well, okay, you of course, draw well, that well, we're, right? <laughs> but my biggest thing is like I don't have them. I have so many Barry Sanders cards. It would yep. disgust you. Like it's they're they're within my reach, but I don't have time to just like normally in my my old podcast. I had um the Barry Sanders score rookie was in the background right here. And then I had Jim Brown. Um, I had a Jim Brown card and then I had a Walter Payton card, but I, I grew up a Barry Sanders fan, man. Like that is my all time favorite NFL player. I'm glad you brought that up because I'm dude, I'm a huge, huge fan. I don't really, you know what I mean? I just wanted to see the city win. I want to see Detroit. Um, we're a fellow miserable Midwestern town tied to the automotive industry, uh, (laughs) rust belt, you know, former Titans of, uh, of industry. So yeah, I'm with you. I agree. I am a backup lions and tigers fan. I'm never going to like, I'm never going to go against the Midwest team. You know what I mean? I'm never going to go with a coast team, man. I think I might see, I might see a Barry Sanders rookie here. There you go. Yeah. I, 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 I love, find it, I'm going to, I'm going to send you a picture of when I hang up here. Yeah, I love Barry Sanders. Just his demeanor, the way he played the game. Everything. Left of the heat, height of his, the hype. Oh, hold on. Bad boys. 89-90 Pistons. Dude, those, do- those documentaries are sweet right there. Oh, those teams. Oof. The bad boys made Michael Jordan what he was. Yep. The bad boys beat Michael Jordan senseless. These guys today... <laughs> never go, I don't even care. Whatever, I don't even care. They could never go through the abuse that Michael Jordan went through. What the bad boys, what Bill Lane Beer, Bill uh uh Bill Lane Beer, John Spider Sally, he had Rodman Dennis on Rodman. This. What they did to Michael Jordan was felonious night in and night out. No doubt about that. They that was a rough time. And I mean, now I don't watch NBA basketball because it's you know, I can't I can't watch the flopping. Yeah, it's it's <laughs> super sad. I like sports. I'm glad you brought up Detroit. Shout out to Detroit. I'm still a Browns, obviously. Indians. Um yeah, we took uh we took our seniors to watch the Browns uh 49ers game this fall. It was it was phenomenal. Obviously, the, the Browns pulled it out, and a lot of our guys had never been to a professional game before, and we had a lot of fun. Dude, it was yeah, they got a great environment there. Um, some people might indulge a little too much in the beverages, but <laughs> yeah. you know, do you do know the longest 10 years of my life, right? I don't. It was the two years I was a Brown season ticket holder. Oh, <laughs> hey, see what I did there? It felt yeah. like 10 years. Hey, Lions fan, my uh my my wife's sister, she's married to a Lions fan too. So they both married Lions fans. Now they're both Lions fan. My uh, my brother in law and sister in law they were they were season ticket holders for the Lions for shoot five five six years maybe um, so yeah, they, that was a long twenty five years for them <laughs> yeah that's what it felt like <laughs> had to man that's awesome um well I did not know that you were a Detroit guy I, I had no idea yeah hey Northeast Indiana my brother was a Cowboys fan like oh you know so um, wait a minute. The Northeast Indiana is up for grabs, though, because Northeast Indiana. Oh, you got Bears, you got Colts. Yes, it could be Chicago. It could be, it could be, uh, it could be Detroit. It could obviously be Indy, right? It could be Payton. Yeah, Bengals fans. Anything. You're, you're like out, you're like in a no man's. Yeah. Right. Whereas like Northwest Ohio is where I'm from is like. Usually it's Ohio State or Michigan. That's really actually 50-50 Ohio State, Michigan. That's the big one. And then a lot of people, it's really weird because all the Bergmans are, are Indians fans, which I never got that. I never understood why people in like the Toledo area were Indians fans. I never understood it, right? Because they're the, the Mud Hens were were the Tigers, right? So it was like, and it's like way closer. It's a, it's dude. Think Indians. The Indians had some teams though. You know, back when like Jim Tomey and those yeah, guys. Yeah, the nineties. Oh yeah, they yeah. had great teams. But I get that. But like, 
I was always just like a Detroit person because it was the only thing we could get on our rabbit ears. I remember Susan Fielder hit 50, 51 home runs. Everybody lost their mind over that. Um, but like once I moved to Kent in the Northeast Ohio, that's when like the, you know, like I, we had a lady that we shared season tickets with um, for the Browns. And then what I would always, I'd go to 20, 30 games a year for the Indians. And then now with the guardian stuff, I just don't know. I just don't know, man. I might have to, but I'll always wear, but this is my trademark at this point. You know, it's almost yeah. like, I gotta stick with it, but. So you gotta be there Thursday LA. night. What's that? So you're going to be there Thursday night at the duel. I, well, my nephew's wrestling for Grand Valley State. I gotta. Yeah. Um, I'll probably, I'm going to try and do the duels if, as long as it's okay with Notre Dame College. They'll let me film the duels and put them on YouTube. Um, I'll do that, but I have to check with them, pending them, whatever they want to do, because, yeah. you know, their venue, you got to ask them. So, um, and I would never like, um, they probably do like a live, a live box cast or something or whatever they do. If, they wanted me to con- yeah, not these conference, I think broadcast stuff, but at the same time, I don't know how, how tight that is or, or not, you know? Yeah. I have to ask. I have to find out. I'll send them an email and see if they're okay with it or not. So, um, well, I, I'm, I'm pumped though, but I'm excited and I'm glad that you gave me a quick preview of, uh, some key matchups and, uh, sorry, we got cut off earlier. We'll just do a part two, throw a part two on it. I like that. We get into a little bit of, uh, what is the actual conference called again? Mountain, the mountain East conference, Mountain East conference. And that's West Virginia, uh, West Virginia schools, Ohio. Yep. And And then Frostburg state, Maryland. Maryland. Okay. No PA schools though. Uh, well, just announced i think they were adding one that's in pittsburgh okay who's that good question they uh, do Kane. they do Kane. no no nah, i don't believe it's Duquesne, but they don't they don't have, offer wrestling as of yet so you know if they, if they don't offer wrestling usually i don't know them right off the top of my head all right so you're tell you're telling me there's a chance they're gonna add wrestling we're gonna have more d2 wrestling <laughs> i love it well we hope right that's that's the way to do it yes awesome hey Anything else? No, I'm looking forward to seeing you Thursday night. I appreciate the the energy you put in the wrestling. And, uh, man, it's going to be exciting last couple months of the the collegiate season. And if you were wondering, double X. Double X if you're wondering. Double X. (laughs) If not, you don't have it, you don't have it. I get it. Um, Coach Irwin. Coach Irwin, thank you for the time. Go Lions. Go Play Lions. The Bucks. Baker Mayfield. Uh oh. Nah. Listen, I'm better over what we did to Baker Mayfield. I can't listen. I know. I can't even go into the whole Baker Mayfield, the Sean Watson debacle. I can't do it. The amount of energy I'll end up spending, I'll. I'll Part three and four. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Hey, thank you for the time. I'll see you Thursday. Okay. And uh, go Hilltoppers. Find the hill.